Hello everyone. This video I would like to show you how to use Firebase database in iNet 2 or iNet 3 project. And this is my iNet 3 blank project I have just created. Okay, to use um, Firebase database, we have to install a plugin. And I will put this in um, description. Make sure you put sudo at the beginning to avoid permission denied and after you install this plugin you have to grant permission to all sub items inside our project okay and we go to src and app and app.mojo.typescript and we have to import that um, plugin from angular 2 angular fire 2 and this should be um, angular fire mojo and another one is angular fire 2 slash database angular fire 2 mojo yep and we need to put it here and this one dot initialize app and inside this we have to put um, config um, uh, we, we can get this config from our project at um, firebase database and now we go to the official side of um, firebase console.firebase.google.com and then we create a new project db like this and you can choose your country Okay, and here there are three platforms that you can choose. And Ionic is a web application. Web application. And okay, we chose this. And you will see this config. Right? And so we copy this, not this one, only this, and paste into our app.module.typescript here and then we pass this config to in this line okay and now we finish all in app.module close that and we go to our page to call to use our database glad file to slash database Um, Firebase database. Okay, and I declare a global array called array data like this. And I get a tag list with Firebase database dot list. And here it is like the uh, name of um, name of table or folder of table I, I think that my item I name it my item and then dot subscribe and it will return the data from inside this my item into this variable and then we pass that data into our global right here and print it out okay and we will see the result and we will get an error and you will see that go here 
um, we we get we, we got this error because we don't have permission to access to our database. So to grant it, we have to go to our project that we have just created, and we go to database, and we go to rules, and then we change read and write to true, and then we will be able to read and write, publish, and reload, and the problem will be fixed. Okay, no problem. Okay, now we can get data from our Firebase data, and now it's time to write data into our database. And I'm gonna create, uh, make um, input and button to add it. Right. Let's let them eye on. Like here, my own input, and put this data into a variable named my input right here, and we make a button. And to insert data to database, we need this um, line of code dot push. And what we push? We push that data that we input right here. This one, like this. And now try up. Right here, and you can see and. Now we see our database, no data, right? And I insert um, my item one at right. And you will see my, my item. My item is about your list here. It is the um, table name or folder name of the database, I think. And inside this, there is one item that we have just inserted, item one. And I add them. Um, Item one, item three, item two. Okay, yeah. Oh. And we can see three, two. Okay, and as you can see, this data that we get from database module is our data that we inserted. The key is like an ID of ID of um this item okay now we can sew it into a list right here my own item okay and we have a ng4 for loop item of the array and we can have a this one intake intake also in every item and inside this we can call to print this value you remember right here dot value and we can say item dot dollar for you okay go to see that right as you can see and I insert a new one call hello five okay you can see if you want to delete it you just uh, need a line of code that um, delete right here and you can copy this one 
um, wait dot remove and inside this we have to pass an ID uh, key key is ID as you can see here right okay and now we have to pass an index of uh, when we click and we pass index to our delete i id is representative to index and then we can get a key or id of that array data um, i here i dot um, dollar key and then see what happened if I click on any item of the list we can see this is our data and I'm gonna click item 3 Boop. not working item 3 okay, it's not a function wait delete what is wrong delete Yes, it's good. Um, I click it again. Yep, it is deleted. As we can see in our database, no longer wild bar item three. And you can select and you can um, do research on this or uh, on it more and more because um, there are many function is like when you when you want to select um, item where um, this item this um, data contain number or whatever you want it is like a um, TXUR Okay, um, thanks for watching and hope you like this video and see you next video. Bye for now.